So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the this new gimbal that's out in the market. It's called the Fujitech AK2000. Uh, I'm doing this review on behalf of Photocop in East London. So we're just going to be doing a review on what's inside the box. So I'm just going to open it, unpack it and show you what's inside so you can see what you can receive when you're buying this product. Okay, so let's get to it and let's open this box up. Okay, so inside the box we've got another box which is the carry box that they send you to use. It's quite a strong styrofoam, I think, um, box. So you can just open it. So this is what's inside the box. This is what the box comes like when you get it. So this is the gimbal obviously. Then we've got the tripod stand which unfolds like this. As you can see. I'll just put the tripod stand down here for now. And then we've got the batteries. The batteries are in the grip at the moment. So this is the batteries which come which comes with which you can charge them. And then inside this box we're gonna have put pin. Inside this box we have the screw for the base plate. So this this basically mounts onto the camera, so you choose which hole you want it to be on. So that's the screw which is inside the plastic packet that back in and also we have we also then have this is the lens support so we put this on the edge of the base plate if you've got a longer lens and it needs support okay in this little compartment we have the cable for to charge the batteries which plugs into the this power bank and then you just plug it into your normal wall socket or USB thing. And then in this little box in this little box we have the the cables to connect to your camera and the gimbal if you don't have if your camera does not support Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's take out the gimbal. Okay, have a look. This is how the gimbal comes out. Okay, so these are the three main tools that you need for the gimbal. So inside, inside the bottom of the grip, if you unscrew it, can you open this, your batteries are in here, there are four batteries in there, as you can see. Okay, so now we're going to assemble the gimbal. So the first thing I do is I uh, get the gimbal upright so because it's easier to set up. So we just screw the So this is what the gimbal will look like assembled. Obviously not set up for the camera yet because I'm using the camera to record. But this is what it would look like. Just quick main aspects, it comes with Wi-Fi, it comes with Bluetooth, so you can connect, if your camera's got Wi-Fi, you can connect it to your, your camera, which then you can use all the toggles on the, on the screen here. Otherwise, you have to use a cable. Uh, it has set panning times, so you can choose a point where it will start and where it will end and it will pan 
automatically which is a really cool feature if you want to do time lapses of like a, like of a landscape that's moving. Uh, the battery life of the gimbal is 12 hours which is pretty decent for four batteries. So you can use the joystick over here to control the gimbal if you just want to have like a static shot and you can just pan with these up and down. This is a quick movement um, joystick so if you pull this one it moves at a quicker motion than what this, gim this joystick does. There also there's a button for video, there's a button for a photo which connects to your Wi-Fi as I said before. So you don't have to touch the camera at all, you just hold the gimbal. Um, 